Hello. For this segment of our Textile Evening School, I will provide a bite-sized focus on careers that relate to the workshop this evening, which is surface design. It is bite-sized in that it's only about three and a half, four minutes long. So I'll start off with a snapshot of some of the careers that have developed for our surface orientated alumni from the textile degree course at Huddersfield. Laura has set up her own freelance business in which she offers a number of services from stationery and textile design through to hand painted interiors. As an example, we have this florist's interior that Laura was commissioned to create. Jess uses her surface design skills to create bespoke designs and designs to order for a company that makes canvas bags called Bag It, Don't Bin It. Zoe, always obsessed with wall coverings, having progressed from a junior designer, is now a fully fledged designer for Graham and Brown. As well as having her own design company, Pig and Fig, that focuses on kitchen and homeware, Rihanna works for the Seasonal Group as their head designer, where they create bespoke environments and magical experiences. So, which alumni am I going to focus on for today? So the first of my two mini focus points is Laura Ensinger. As a student, Laura was always very interested in quite traditional approaches to design, approaches that made amazing use, or sorry, made use of her amazing painterly and drawing based skills. Upon graduation, Laura went on to work for High Street brand Wilco's, again, focusing on interiors. This would not only involve developing print-based designs, but also constructed designs using knit and weave, as well as embroidered designs at times. After several years working for Wilco's, Laura decided to set up her own business and create designs as a freelancer. For her own business, Laura focuses on collections and products that allow her to really push those drawing and painting skills that she loves so much. Still focused on interiors, but with ideas that also extend into stationery too. By commission, Laura also produces bespoke wall coverings. In support of her design business, or I suppose as part of her design business, Laura also designs as a freelancer for several design studios. When these designs are then purchased, they could be used in any scenario from tea towels and wall coverings through to fashion and plush toys. And finally, we have had a lot, um, I suppose, a lot more of a traditional design florals focus today. Um, so I wanted to focus the end of the talk with Sophie Dare. As an embroidery student, Sophie was fascinated by texture and in the final year um, really kind of like developed an understanding of the Japanese design philosophy of wabi-sabi. As the most recent graduate in this presentation, Sophie is in the early stages of setting up her own design company where she is currently working with concrete and the concept of wabi-sabi for an interiors home-based um, collection. So if you would like to get in touch, please feel free to do so via these links here or as a point for finding out more about us at Huddersfield. Thank you very much.